Hi guys, this is Joe popping on and today I am really happy to say I was able to snag the two remaining new Dragon Ball Z pops and of course those ones are Trunks and the new Frieza the ma machine what are they calling him machine Frieza <laughs> that's kind of funny uh, but I got the two ones uh, these ones are really nice uh, kind of fun that they're doing some of the older uh, styles and I like that these two even though that they we're out with the other wave that they actually got postponed together because these ones fit perfectly together, especially Trunks' pose. Uh, so let's pop these ones over, open, and take a look. Um, perfect. So this one's the new Trunks. Sorry, let me show you him. Uh, he looks really nice. His sword's out in the fighting stance. Uh, this is, We are getting a nice bit of Trunks' now. But they are different characters, which is nice because we have future trunks, normal trunks, future trunks from the new future, which now has blue hair. So this one, of course, is going to be trunks from um, the original Cell Saga uh, because he has purple hair and is older. So let's pop him open and take a look. Perfect. Comes a nice clamshell for him. He fits in it well. And he does have a stand warning. So super happy for that because... I think all the Dragon Ball Z characters should just come with the stand because lots of them don't stand so well. <laughs> Especially since I'm an out of box collector, I know this very well with them. And so here we go. That's a great stance for him. So here we go. We got the new Future Trunks. So he's got that nice sword of his. Uh, this looks great. I'm very surprised that they actually did the purple hair trunks again instead of doing this with blue hair because uh, I think we only have one with blue hair if I'm not mistaken. Yep, just one. Uh, we do have uh, him uh, Super Saiyan like that but uh, this is oh, to be um, like the third or fourth one of normal trunks, uh, future trunks, which I have to say is uh, my favorite. I do like that they did purple hair. I don't really understand why they did the blue hair for this uh, the new... Um, the new show uh, for Super. Um, I do know that the creator of it was, it's really funny because he just forgets about characters and forgets different hair colors for characters. Because I know like um, Android 18, um, he changed her hair color and had to be informed that you have the hair color wrong um, for Dragon Ball Super. Um, he just completely forgot about um, launch from Dragon Ball. Uh, when he did Dragon Ball Z. Uh, and that's why she's not in the show. Is because he actually forgot about the character. And nobody um, felt like informing him. <laughs> and with him. With New Trunks. Uh, when he redid the character. He's like. No he's got blue hair. And that's actually why they did blue hair. Um, and I think it's funny. They even have a line in the show. Where Bulma says. Does he have blue hair? And the guy, people are like. Yes. And she's like. But he never had blue hair. <laughs> uh, which is just kind of funny. But this one looks amazing, and especially being in the ready to cut somebody down, especially with our next figure. Uh, so here we go. We got the next one, which is going to be Mecha Frieza. Uh, this one, um, I'm glad they did, uh, because I do like another different form of Frieza. This is a form of Frieza we do see for a good little while, especially with the Super Frieza movie, because he comes back, uh, and like when he's on the tree and stuff like that. He's actually still Mecha Frieza. Which I think is pretty cool. So he's in hell for like a very long time um, uh, as Mecha Frieza. <laughs> so, but once again, I'm, I'm still hoping for all of his different variants uh, to come out because I really love all the different forms of Frieza and would kind of like them all kind of lined up. And especially since we now have the one in the chair, we have a super form. Like they could do a Buffy for, uh, version. We have the Golden Frieza, which is wonderful. I know we have Mecha Frieza, but I would love his bigger forms, especially since they're doing Cooler, uh, his father. Um, not Cooler. Um, is it Cooler? I could be getting that wrong. Um, King Cooler and his Frieza and I forgot his brother's name. Um, just drawing a blank. Sorry, guys. Um, but the, since they're doing him and he's just going to be a normal pop, which I'm kind of sad for. I was really hoping he was going to be a six inch because he towers over Frieza um, in that form. Uh, which is Frieza's second form. Um, but this one looks so good. This one I did uh, want to wait to find him in store because um, I found lots of them with very sloppy paint jobs on the face and stuff like that. And I was really expecting that for the amount of detail on him um, because when, I, like, once again, I said, as I say, I, I just really love the different paint jobs and I just really like to try to find a perfect paint job. And he, 
this one was a little tough to find a nice box and a nice paint job together. Um, so anybody else looking for that, I wish you good luck because once again, I found it a little difficult. But these two look great. I love all the little knobs and everything like that. I, I kind of really dig that they really made him uh, like have like all the different, like the bubble on his head, the orbs on the side of his head, really match like his ship. Um, like it's very much the same technology. I really love that they did that. Um, and all the different like Saiyan armor kind of spots, which is also his armor because he gives it to the Saiyans. Um, but these two are so nice and they're going to make a great pose together because of course we all know Trunks beats this guy in two seconds, <laughs> cuts him down with his sword and uh, kills King Cooler. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just too cool. Oh, they just look really nice. So I highly recommend these two. They are now hitting stores. They did, uh, once again, release later than the other versions. I know you can order, uh, I think, most of them online if you guys don't uh, are just wanting to get them and don't uh, want to check out the paint jobs in person. I completely understand that. Uh, but once again, I try to if I can. Because actually one I also found a really hard time with, her is, which bugs me on a lot of pops, is the hairlines were all screwed up on trunks. Um, I did search through all of his that they had um, at like two different stores uh, to find the one with a good hairline uh, because a lot of his um, sideburns and hair uh, were actually colored um, very sloppily. Um, and this was finally the one I just settled on. Um, it looks really good. There are a few imperfections, but once again, with pop figures, you can't be too picky uh, because you're never going to be 100%, um, especially since uh, they're all like individually painted by people. So... They, they look great. It's so nice. I'm really happy they did these two. And I'm really happy that they, uh, the, if two of them got delayed, it was these two together. Because, once again, they just make a perfect scene together. Uh, just Frieza and him going at it. Uh, just too nice. Uh, which one was your favorite out of the new wave? Uh, mine has to be probably Mecha Frieza um, or uh, Android 16. Uh, just because they are very much new figures. Um, probably Android 16 since I don't have an Android 16 prior to this, um, but very close to um, Frieza Mecha form, um, which I think are just amazing. Uh, they're just too cool. So leave a comment below. Let me know which ones are your favorite because they did some really nice ones. I'm just I, once again I'm just a big fan of whenever they do something uh, new um, in comparison to getting another Vegeta, another uh, Goku. Uh, the Piccolo was pretty awesome. Um, very different from anything else we've gotten for Piccolo, Piccolo but we do have a couple other Piccolos. Um, so it does knock it down. And a couple other Bulmas, but once again, the Bulma figure was wonderful with uh, it being a completely new form, a uh, new version of Bulma, because I do love how she changes as she grows older. Uh, so please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. It helps more than you will ever know. And it really, really lifts my spirits when I see that somebody out there has actually watched the video and uh, takes a moment to comment back. Uh, let's have a conversation. I love, I, I try to answer everybody who leaves a comment. So please uh, just uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> so thank you all so much. And also hit that bell button because once again, you'll get notified anytime I do a new video. And I try to do them all the time. Um, and so thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And this is Joe popping on. And I'm going to be popping off. Toodles.